Well, I love the Naval Academy first and foremost. It's been good, good to me and my family. Uh, it's a great place to work. You coach great kids. Um, I love what the school stands for. Um, and this conference, um, I've, I've seen it grow. You know, just the competitiveness of it. When we first got in the league, just from then to now, the, the growth of the league, of the teams, of the coaches, the program has been phenomenal. The history of Navy w was always independent in football. To be a part of the joining of a conference for the first time ever, just what that meant to you? Well, it's, it's kind of a. I kind of get two ends of it. <laughs> so I got like, why'd you guys join the conference? Should have stayed independent. And being independent was good for us. We could schedule who we want to schedule. Yeah. Um, but being a part of a conference, we feel like has given us some identity. Uh, the competition is a lot tougher. Um, you know, the teams and the locations we're playing at, from an exposure standpoint, from a recruiting standpoint, has been good for us. Now, like I said, it's it, it's taken us to a different level of competition, but. This is football, I mean, we want to compete, you know, and that's kind of been my nature, and I, I've taken slack from fans and from alumni, but I've always been a guy, man, just going to compete, you know. Um, I guess the analogy I use, I'm a, I'm a pick-up basketball guy, and I remember growing up, there were always two courts. One court were kind of not as good guys, and the other court were better players, and you could play on the other court and probably stay there all day, you know, or you could go on the other side and compete a little, you might lose a couple games, but I'd rather be on the side where you're competing, you know, instead of padding your stats, so it's kind of my nature. And I'm, I'm grateful in this league because it's a tough league. And I think it's good for us. I mean, and from an academic standpoint, we're pushing our kids to be the, the smartest they can be, to be the best Navy and Marine Corps in the, in the world. Um, so from a football standpoint, too, we want to do the same. We want to play the best. And when you look at what this conference has done, you know, the Power Six narrative comes up a lot from the commissioner. Just how you look at that and, and what you regard that as, because the Power Five was a media term. If the media never said it, it never existed. But because it exists, there's the, the notion and the desire for the Americans to state that, you know, obviously what you've done in this conference deserves to be recognized as a power conference. How do you look at it? Well, I feel like our our work has given us, gotten us to this point. It's put us in a conversation just by all the great teams, all the success that people like Houston have had, UCF, Memphis. Uh, you know, everybody's had some non-conference, uh, as you said. You know, Power Five wins that have been good for us. You know, yeah. we've beaten Notre Dame, uh, and I think because of that, I think because of the uh, the work on the field. I think you see just a lot of coaches have been hired by Power 5 schools. I think the draft has shown that NFL people see the, 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 the talent level in this league. It's just put us in a, in a stratosphere that, you know, we're kind of in that conversation. When we first started, we weren't even close. And so I think it's all validated. But a big part of it is just it's been more than a narrative. It's been more than people talking because you can talk all you want. It's got to be your actions, and it's because of the the wins on the field that's gotten us to this point. Navy, I know the last couple seasons, you you obviously have high expectations, and there's been some adversity. How did you tackle the spring and kind of going into the fall? Just what your thoughts are, knowing that you want Navy football to obviously be Navy football. Um, I feel like I I got to improve as a coach first. So just looking at last year, there are things I missed. Uh, so those are the kind of things we're addressing. Just small things of making sure that every player puts the team first and puts yourself second. And I know that's cliche-ish and stuff, but we're never as good as people talent-wise. So we have to be a better team. And the only way you can be a better team is to do your job, accept your role, uh, full heartedly and, and embrace it and that's been our push this offseason just test the line do your job it's not about you it's about the team and I've loved the way our teams embrace that committing to the triple option and just having that identity just what you could see that say that that you know that's kind of meant over your time at you know with over a decade at Navy just just what that's meant to you and and teams kind of knowing what you're going to do and you still saying hey listen you know what we got or we're still going to beat you on the field with it. Well, it gives us an opportunity to compete. You know, it's different than what everybody else does. And I feel like we need option factor. You know, we can't line up and run the spread like everybody else. Uh, we're not good enough, you know.
know, just we got to do something that gives us uh, an advantage. And doing a triple option, people don't see it week in and week out. So I feel like it helps us from a competitive standpoint. Um, it's been good to our program. Um, I love it. You know, I mean, it's an it's a offense that I played in, learned from Coach Johnson, and it's been good to our program. Coach Johnson, uh, no longer being at Georgia Tech, how did you kind of, I mean, did you get to speak with him about it and, and just kind of what he's done? He was at Navy, obviously went to Georgia Tech and continued the option. Like you said, you learned from him, so kind of what his legacy is with you. Well, I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for Coach Johnson. He got me started in the profession. He was my quarterback coach. Um, you know, was, I learned all my, you know, option football from him. And so he's a phenomenal football coach, but a great person. Uh, a lot of coaches gotten their start from him. Obviously, he came to Navy and, and turned the program around. Went to Georgia Tech and did great things. I'm happy for him being retired. I don't know how long that will last, <laughs> but um, had a great career. Um, like I said, did great things everywhere he went. Uh, Georgia Southern, Hawaii, um, Navy, Georgia Tech. So it shows you the quality of the coach because he was successful everywhere. Kind of in closing here, uh, I think I had spoken with you about it before, but my grandfather served in World War II in the Navy, and so did my great uncle Carmen. Just what you could say the Navy means to you and, and just the importance of that and knowing that it's been involved in some of the biggest decisions and time periods of our lives. Uh, when I think about our stadium, you know, you go to some stadiums, they got banners of bowl games. Uh, in Ohio State, they got national championships up there, which is really cool. Just whatever you have at your stadium. But our stadium, they have battles from different wars from our country. And, you know, significant battles which the Navy and Marine Corps were involved with, which are obviously strategic uh, and very important in the history of our country. So it just gives you a great sense of pride, you know, that we can do this and be, have the freedoms that we have. So from all the veterans that have served, all that are serving, being a part of helping guys prepare to serve our country, it's more than football. I mean, so I, I feel very honored to coach here, and it's something I, I definitely love doing.